Hey guys, what's up? Matt here with DIY Dad. I know I jump around on this channel doing computer stuff and then building stuff. I, I guess I do a little bit of everything, you know. Uh, this video, I wanted to run through the steps downloading the software that you need for College Football Revamped. To, uh, you know, you have to set up your PlayStation with the PS3 in, get a multi-man on there. It's really not that hard. Uh, my first video, I think I explained it pretty well. I think I have some, some positive feedback. Uh, most people figured it out, but some people still had some trouble. And it's not easy. If you're not very computer savvy, it, it can be kind of challenging. So I thought I'd try to make another video since they've updated everything since then. It's actually a little bit easier now, in my opinion, and I'll show you why I believe that. So first thing you're going to want to do is WinRAR. You need to download that, okay? That's your file unpacker. So let me open up this. I'll just show you when our, our spelled it wrong. The website, download WinRAR. It's free. Now, every once in a while, you'll try to unpack a file and be like, you have to pay for this. You don't. Just exit out of that and it'll work. I really don't know why anybody would need to buy it. Maybe if you're doing all kinds of un file unpacking, maybe something's easier. I don't know, but you don't have to buy it. Just download it. So once it's downloaded, every time you download a, uh, a packed file, it will automatically unpack using um, WinRAR. And it, sometimes it might ask you, do you want to use WinRAR to unpack this file? Yes, you do. So... Well, let me walk through this. So once you get the PS3 exploit, you've got your 4.88 firmware. That's the newest firmware for HIN available. That's a go that goes with the current version of the PlayStation firmware, which is 4.88. If you have 4.86 or 4.87 or anything before that, it's, this is not going to work. So if I were you, I would just go ahead and update your PlayStation. I know there's... For a little while, they said, don't do it, don't do it. Well, they figure out a way to have this firmware that works for 4.88. So you might as well just update it to 4.88. So once you have it updated to 4.88, click on your file here. It's going to bring you to this page. Scroll down. Right here, you have these three options to click on. It'll bring you to the place to download the file. I usually use Mediafire. So once you click Mediafire, it's going to bring you to this page. Download. And it should start right down here, which I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. But this is what it should look like. You have the little the books with the belt around them. Once it's downloaded, it's going to pop up under, uh, in your, it'll be in your downloads, or sometimes it'll pop up on WinRAR. So I'm just going to go to my downloads right here. So this is the one I downloaded earlier today. What you need to do is extract it. Okay, so you're going to extract the files to a folder on your desktop. So I've already got it extracted. I created this folder right here. It's supposed to say hen. It just says en. Don't worry about that. So once you click extract, it's going to unpack those files. WinRAR will unpack it automatically, and it will put it in that folder. And this is what it'll look like. Multi-man will not be there. Okay, I put multi-man in there after I put the PS3 files in there. So pretend that's not there. All it's going to have is the PS3 update and then the file that you need. Now, if you remember before, you actually had to go in there and rename the file ps 3 updatepup It's already done for you. I didn't have to do any of that this time. I didn't have to make any of those file folders. That's how it extracted so they've uh, made it a little bit easier. That's what I was saying earlier when I think they've made it easier. Once you extract it, that's exactly what it's going to look like. It's going to have the PS3 folder, then it's going to have your update, and then PS3 update.pup. And that's it. Then you're done with that part. So put your USB in and drag the file to your USB. Now, Multiman, um, you're going to want that too. I've had this downloaded on my computer for a while now. Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember where I downloaded Multiman. Excuse my spelling, something's wrong with my keyboard, and it's just, I don't know what's going on with it. Brewology, that's where I downloaded it. So you're going to come here to Homebrew, uh, the, 
let's see, multi-man base. You're going to click download. Boom, there you go. Multi-man base downloading. I already have it, so I'm not going to re-download it. It's as simple as that. So multi-man is the program that helps you launch the, uh, the modded game once you have it modded. All right, so once you have multi-man and your um, HIN firmware ready to go, you can now download the revamped files. So you need to come to the GitHub revamped website. Scroll down. And remember, guys, this is for PS3. This is not how you do it on Xbox. I don't know how to do it on Xbox. Never had to do it. It's a little more confusing for me to understand. Anyway, so select your device, PS3. I have a physical disk copy. Scroll down, and then there you go. That's the latest version of the mod, part A and part B. So you're going to download both parts. I've already got those downloaded as well. And those are actually right here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag those into this folder. So this is what your folder should look like. Okay. So I've got part A, part B, and multi-man. My PS3 updat.pup, good to go. That's all you have to do. Once that's done, make sure you, let's see, hold on, let me drag to my USB, plug in my USB. See, I've already got half of it there. A, come on. Oh, it's going to take a second, because it's, uh, it's a three gig file, so I won't have to sit there and wait a second. But anyway, you don't have to sit through that. I don't know why it's not going. I'll do that later. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so once you get those files on your USB, safely eject your USB, and then you go plug it into your PlayStation and follow the steps in the previous video. I'm not going to go through all those steps right now because it is a lot, and I don't want to forget anything. Um, but... I hope I kind of cleared up the computer part of it. It's really not that difficult. So I hope it helps you kind of figure out what you need to do to get your revamp going. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I, I try to keep up with all the comments. I never expected that video to get as popular as it did. I'm glad it helped so many people. But uh, if I don't get to your comment, it's just because I didn't see it. Um, I don't always see them. It's, I, I'm very busy, so I'll try to get to as many as I can. Um, but anyway, that's it. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like and subscribe, uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I don't do a ton of computer stuff, but, uh, I do a lot of building stuff on this channel. As you see some other videos, uh, if you're into the gaming thing, I do have, I do stream video games, mainly Sims on, um, King Kong gaming on Facebook. So you're welcome to look me up there. Um, I've also thought about streaming college football revamped on my computer. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. Uh, I've started it. I've had some issues with it on the computer. Never really messed with it again. So if you want to see it, let me know. I'll see if I can figure it out. But anyway, hope everybody has a great night and appreciate you for watching.